Welcome to tutorial 8, defining operational variables in GPSX. Some of the important operational variables in a wastewater treatment plant may be site-specific and difficult to generalize. Due to this, GPSX has a define feature which will allow the user to format calculations for operational variables such as the solids retention time and the food to microorganism ratio. The goal of this tutorial is to show users how to define a custom calculation for specific operational variables. Begin by opening a new file and saving it with an appropriate name. Turn on the display grid by selecting display grid from the view drop down menu. From the Influent Process group, add an Influent object to the drawing board. From the Flow Combiners and Splitters group in the Process table, add a Control Splitter and a Two Flow Combiner to the drawing board. From the Suspended Growth Processes group in the Process table, add a Plug Flow Tank to the drawing board. Add a rectangular secondary clarifier from the secondary clarifier section of the process table. Finally, add a wastewater outfall object from the effluent group of the process table. Use the default model for each of these objects. Arrange and connect the objects as is shown in the video. After all the connections have been made, turn both the stream and object labels on using the Labels button on the main toolbar. Label the objects as shown in the video. Modify the secondary clarifier's underflow parameters by right-clicking on the rectangular secondary clarifier and selecting Input Parameters, Operational. Turn on the Proportional Recycle. Enter WWINF in the stream label to which Recycle is Proportional field. The current recycle fraction of 0.8 is acceptable in this example. Under the Pump Flow subheading, change the wastage rate from 40 to 100 meters cubed per day. Accept these changes and save the layout. We will now define a mass flow variable for the effluent solids where the mass flow is the effluent suspended solids concentration multiplied by the effluent flow rate. Begin by accessing the define wizard by clicking the define button on the main toolbar and selecting the mass flow option. In the mass flow wizard select the control splitter bypass stream the final clarifier's FE stream, and the two flow combiner final F stream. From the variable choices menu, select the total suspended solids under the composite variables heading. Accept the changes and save the layout. Switch to simulation mode. We will now create an output graph for the newly defined mass flow variable. Right click on the secondary clarifier effluent and select the output variables, defined variables, mass flow option. 
drag the mass flow total suspended solids variable to a new output graph. Repeat this procedure to add the total suspended solids mass flow in the bypass and final F streams to the same output graph. Modify the graph settings. Set the maximum value of the graph to 1000 kg per day and rename this plot appropriately. Create a new input controller for the influent flow rate Auto arrange the graph and run a 20 day dynamic simulation. Increase the influent flow rate using the input controller while the simulation is running and notice that beyond an influent flow rate of 2000 meters cube per day, the, the control splitter is activated and some of the influent flow begins to be bypassed. Adjust the bypass flow limit by increasing the pump flow rate of the control splitter object. To avoid the need to recompile the model, make this change in a scenario or with an input controller. Rerun the simulation, adjusting both the influent flow rate and the pumped flow. Save the layout. We will now calculate the solids retention time in the system. Switch to modeling mode. Click on the define button and select the solids retention time to open the SRT manager window. Create a new SRT variable. Enter the name tank. Note that GPSX automatically prepends SRT to the variable name, so it will be called SRT tank. Accept the name and a new blank SRT equation will be shown. The SRT equation is broken into two parts, mass and mass flow. The numerator of the SRT equation is the mass section, which is defined as the mass of solids held in each tank. Typically, SRT calculations only include the mass of solids held in the aeration basin, but it is also possible to calculate SRT by summing the mass in the aeration basin and the final clarifier. We will now define our SRT equation by clicking on the appropriate drawing board locations with the SRT manager open. To add the mass of a tank, click on the object in the layout. We will be adding the mass of the aeration tanks and the clarifier. The aeration tank in this layout actually represents several tanks, so you will be prompted to specify which reactors you would like to include. Include all of the reactors. The denominator of the SRT equation represents the mass flow lines that will be used to calculate the SRT. To do this, click on the flow lines taking solids out of the system. Typically only the wastage flow is included in this calculation. We will be adding both the WAS and FE streams to our SRT calculation. To do this, click on the respective connection points. Your SRT equation should be the same as what is currently seen in the video. We will not be including the clarifier's mass in our calculation though. To remove the clarifier's mass from our equation, click on the clarifier again and the mass variable will be removed from the numerator of the equation. Close the SRT manager window to accept the SRT equation. Save your layout and switch to simulation mode. Create a new graph with the SRT variable. To do this, open the SRT Manager from the Define menu to view the SRT variables and equations that you have defined. Drag the SRT Tank variable to a new graph tab. 
Set the maximum graph value to 30 days and change the title to SRT. Save the layout. You can view the effect that changing the amount of solids being wasted out of the system has on the SRT by creating an input controller for the pump flow. This is accessed in the secondary clarifiers input parameters operational menu. Run a few simulations varying the wastage flow rate. We will now look at how you can define average calculations in GPSX. Switch to modeling mode. Select the daily average option from the define menu. Averages can also be applied to user-defined variables like mass flows, SRT, and food to microorganism ratios. We will be applying an average calculation to the mass flow in the discharge stream we defined previously. Change the variable type to define variables. We would like to define our average on the mass flow, total suspended solids found under the two flow combiner, final F, mass flow option. Press Accept to create a daily average calculation on the mass flow of suspended solids in the final F stream. Following the same method, define a moving average for the mass flow total suspended solids in the final F stream. Press Accept to create the moving average variable. Switch to simulation mode. Rebuild the model when prompted. Create a new output graph with both the daily and moving average variables we just defined on it. To do this, right click on the combiner's final F connection point and select output variables, defined variables, and then the daily average and moving average options respectively. Notice in the moving average form that a number appears to the right of the variable name. These are the number of days that are used in the moving average calculation and can be changed in modeling mode. Rename the graph daily and moving averages. Set the maximum value in the graph to 1000 kg per day for both variables. Run the simulation, adjusting the influent flow rate to observe the effect it has on the average values. When you have defined an SRT, you have the option to create a process controller that will adjust the wastage rate to maintain an SRT set point. Switch to modeling mode. Open the SRT manager window and select the SRT tank variable. Click on the estimate was using set SRT option. We will use the default controller settings in this example, but you can choose which wastage flow rate will be used to control the SRT, set the desired SRT, and define the minimum and maximum wastage rates. Switch to simulation mode. Rebuild the model when prompted. Create an input controller for the SRT set point. To do this, open the SRT Manager and drag the SRT set point to the Input Controller tab. Change the maximum of this controller to 30 days.
create a new output graph on the same output tab as the SRT graph for the WAS flow rate. The WAS flow rate can be found by right clicking on the WAS connection point and going to Output Variables Flow. Rename the plot WAS flow and set the maximum value to 500 meters cubed per day. Run the simulation at various SRT set points to observe the effect that WAS flow rate has on SRT. Save the layout. You have now completed tutorial 8 in the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with the define function in GPSX and how it can be used to generate custom calculations within GPSX.